Second day, lots and lots of people, they try to lose weight by doing miraculous programs and crazy diets. But one thing they don't know is that it's very easy to lose weight just by traveling or running or even walking towards the outside life. clarify before we start is the weight is not the same thing as mass. Mass is a scalar quantity which means to describe it we will only need its magnitude, while to describe weight we will need the magnitude and the direction. Also weight is a force which means uh, it can be described by Newton's second law which is F equals ma being F equals the force in this case, the weight, M, the mass of the, an object, and A, the gravity acceleration on Earth. Fortunately, the gravity on Earth measures about 10 meters per second squared, but it is an a approximation. What we want to calculate is exactly what a weight is. We need to be careful because the Earth's gravitational acceleration is different uh, depending on where you are on Earth. It gets bigger as a go away from the equator. And this is something that causes the Earth to be flatted around the poles. And this is a consequence of Earth's rotation. Just like in the circular motion of a miracle around or a chair plane, your centrifugal acceleration that acts pushing you off the Earth's surface. The centrifugal acceleration can be described by the velocity squared over R in R, the radius of the circular motion, in this case, it is the radius of the Earth. And you may ask, what does the centrifugal acceleration have to do with losing weight? In the early 1900s, a German team from Institute of Geodesy in Potsdam, they made uh, gravity measures in two moving ships in the ocean. And it was when the Hungarian physicist Holland von Etwus perceived that there was a change in gravitational acceleration. First, we gotta consider that Earth is a non-inertial reference frame, which means for us to describe some movement on Earth, we got to include the movement that the Earth is doing, in this case, the rotation. For an example, the Earth's velocity close to the equator is about 465 minutes per second. Now let's say there is a car that is traveling to east, so it's traveling to the same direction as the rotation of the Earth. It means that the total velocity would be the velocity of the Earth's rotation plus the velocity of the car, that will be 465 plus 10 that will be equal to 475 meters per second. While if it was traveling to west instead, the velocity would be 455 meters per second. And that is the velocity that is taken into account when we say that formula for centrifugal force. The formula also says to us that velocity is directly proportional to the centrifugal acceleration. The bigger the velocity, the bigger the centrifugal acceleration. And this way, the centrifugal acceleration it acts lifting you up from the ground and making you weight less. I hope you all liked this video and learned a lot. And I'll see you next.